Radio 59, WRRW, first on the dial, serving Albany, Tri, and Schenectady. Another tale well calculated to keep you in... Suspense. The story, The Legend of Robbie, written for suspense by Walter Black. Hey, George, you're the nanny. Yeah, that's right, okay. Give me one. Still in an inside straight, old buddy? Robbie? Uh, I'll play these. Uh oh. <laughs> Might as well throw our hands in, George. Less gab and more poker, huh, Dutch? Oh, yes, sir. Let's see, I'll take two. Uh, who opened? I did. I'll open for 50. I'll see you. Mm, I'm in. George, old buddy, what do you got? Full house. Queens over trays. Yeah, you hit it, huh? Well, beats me. Rabbi? Yep, beats me too. Hey, you win the deal, Lucky. Hmm? Uh, no more tonight, Dutch. Three-handed poker ain't that much fun. Yeah, no more for me either. That's nah, not late. I, I know, but I set myself a five-dollar limit and it's gone. This is a real sensible fella, you know it? Sensible? What was sensible about it? I can't lose money I don't have. Chid, you got the wrong slant. Money's the one thing you can always get more of. Oh, yeah, sure. All I got to do is walk out of the store with the proceeds. Not a bad idea if you don't get caught. Mm, the smart guys don't get caught. Are you kidding? You can pick up a paper any day in the week and read about the ones they get nabbed. Ah, but how about all the ones you never read about? The ones they don't nab. Plenty more get away with it than ever get caught. Says who? Statistics, that's who. Ah, it's too late for an argument. Especially when I'll get one at home anyway. Good night, boys. Game on for next week, Dutch? Well, as long as my landlady don't complain. Well, I'd better be going to... Ah, stick mm. around, have a beer. No, I don't think so, thanks. You don't mind if I have one, do you? Hmm? Uh, you know, kid? Hmm? It's not a bad idea you got. Idea? What idea? The one about walking out with the take from your supermarket. I was only joking. So... It's still a good idea. A little planning is all it'd take. How much is the market doing a good day? I... I don't know exactly. What do you mean you don't know? Old man Harris lets you take it down to the night departs at Box, don't he? I don't count it on the way. Well, uh, average. How much do you think he averages a day? I... Maybe six or seven thousand. Hmm. Not bad for 15 minutes' work. Uh, what's the matter? Am I tie on crooked or something? You, you're not serious, Dutch. Ain't I? You must be crazy. Well, wait. A little. The normal people are in graveyards. Well, I'm not crazy. If you think I'd take a nickel from Mr. Harris after all he's done for me, you, you've got another think coming. He's the best friend I got. So? So nothing. I've been with him almost 11 years. I started out making deliveries, and now I'm assistant manager. And you earn 70 bucks a week. I'll have another raise soon. Then you'll be making 72 or 3. Yes, sir. A guy can sure live high off the hog on 72 bucks a week. Lives like a king, can he? I, I'm not so old, I can't wait a while. That's the spirit, Robbie. You knock your brains out, and Mr. Harris takes home the dough. Knock it off, will you, Dutch? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Suit yourself, kid. Hey, um, mm -hmm. how's, uh, what's your name? You know, that redhead who works with you? Sandra? Yeah, Sandra. What a dish. She gone out with you yet? No. Meaning you haven't asked her. How come? How can I afford to take a girl like her out on what I make? Hmm, you're not a bad-looking kid, Robbie. Maybe she wouldn't mind just having a nice cream soda and taking a nice long walk. I got an idea. Why don't we double date some night? Don't worry, I'll stake you. I can always win it back from you with poker. Mm, I, I couldn't. Sure you could. Uh, unless, of course, you don't think she'd go out with you. Why wouldn't she? That's what I say. Why wouldn't she? Let's make it for next Sunday, okay? Well, I'll ask her. You do that. Hey, Dutch. Hmm? You weren't, uh, I mean, uh, all that crazy stuff about taking the money. You, you weren't serious, were you? Mm, I guess not, kid. <laughs> yeah, I never know when you're kidding and when you're not. <laughs> How could I be serious? After all, 
You only got to wait another 20, 25 years, and the store will be yours, won't it? You'll be rolling in dough by the time you're 55 or 60. Huh? Mud in your eye, kid. This is Bing Crosby. I'm sure you've seen and heard this slogan. Home is where the hurt is, where multiple sclerosis hits. I'd like to talk to you for a moment about those homes that are hit by MS and closely related diseases. One of them could be a home of a friend or a loved one or even your own home. Because MS strikes anywhere, anytime. It's simply no respecter of persons. Multiple sclerosis is a crippling, baffling disease of the central nervous system that heaps emotional and financial disaster on top of physical hardship. It's a disease that the victim and his family must learn to live with because its cause and cure have not been found. Now, with so very little known about MS, scientists have to track down anything that is a possible lead. But careful, continuous scientific research takes money. And if money isn't available, a promising lead can't be followed up. Join the fight to conquer multiple sclerosis. Please say yes. And give to the MS Hope Chest today. You know something, Robbie? I've had two drinks and I'm feeling no pain. And when I'm feeling no pain, I like to say what I think. And you know what I think, Robbie? I think you're cute. I think you're beautiful. Did you hear that, Dutch? I'm beautiful. Hey, you telling me or asking me? Am I really, Robbie? The most beautiful girl I ever saw. Oh, if we was alone in this booth, I could thank you in the right way. Just because I got stood up is no reason to make me feel unwelcome. Uh, go ahead and kiss her, Robbie. Can't you see she's dying for you, too? Oh, shut up, will you? <laughs> He's blushing. I'm not. It's, it's just... Hot in here. <laughs> you can say that again. Shut up, I said. Oh, is that a nice way to talk to the man who's paying for your drinks? Oh, how come, Dutch? Oh, Robbie's a little short this month, ain't you, kid? What of it? Gee, I thought, you know, being assistant manager and all, I thought you made out real good. Oh, he does, isn't he? He's got a future, too. That's what Mr. Harris told him, ain't it, kid? Harris, that old windbag. He likes to pay you off in kind words instead of money. A real phony. I, I thought you liked Mr. Harris. I like money. I like good times and cute fellas. I like having fun. It all takes money. Beautiful and brainy. Huh. Why don't we ask Sandra what she thinks of the idea, Robbie? You, you mean... Sure, why not? But... But you said you weren't serious. So they send you to jail for talking? How'd you like a month in Florida, honey, or Bermuda, <laughs> or maybe even Europe? How'd I like the moon, why don't you ask? Oh, this is closer. It's all up to Robbie, too. All he's got to do is walk out some night with the day's proceeds, and some mean old bad guy knocks him on the head in the dark alley, and that's it. Robbie has a bump on his head for a couple of days. So what? And who loses? Harris is insured, ain't he? Shut up, Dutch. Look, I'm sorry, Sandra. I, I didn't know he'd start all that crazy talk again. What's so crazy about it? Don't look so shocked, sweetie. You heard what Dutch said. Harris is insured. What's so wrong with us having a little money before we're too old to enjoy it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'd have fallen if it hadn't been for holding on to you. Uh, Put your arm around me, sweetie. Oh. You're strong, aren't you? Yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> I'm sure glad Dutch went on by himself. I thought we'd never be alone. You wanted to be alone with me? What do you think, cutie pie? <laughs> Come here. You like it? Oh, Sandra, I, I love you. Oh, I love you too, Kitty. Come on. There's my rooming house. Oh, hold on to me now. Don't let me fall. Hey, can't we, uh, uh I mean, can't we stay outside a little while, huh? All right, honey. You know, honey, I like you. I like you a lot. But where does it go from there? 
I don't want to spend the rest of my life sitting on the front porch of a crummy rooming house. I won't always be making 70 a week. Maybe, maybe not. It's not like he wasn't good looking and everything. But a girl's got to look out for herself, don't she? Why, I, I can't. I mean, I never stole a nickel in my whole life. I, I couldn't do it. Especially when Mr. Harris trusts me and depends on me. Sure. Where else could he get somebody to work like you do for the peanut tea patient? Lots of guys don't make any more than I do. I'm not interested in lots of guys, honey. Just in one guy who will show me a real good time. A little while ago, you said... What'd I say? You love me? Sure, sweetie. I'd go for you. But I can't love you if you don't love me. But I do, I do. Money, Robbie. Not talk, money. But I... I just can't. Okay. Where are you going? To bed. You run along home. But what will I... See you again. Bright and early tomorrow morning at crummy Mr. Harris's crummy supermarket. I mean, for a date. Oh, cutie pot. That all depends on you. Ah, how you doing, Robbie? You alone, Dutch. I got to talk to you. Uh, come on in. But if it's a loan, kid, I'm flat to payday. It's not a loan. Then what's on your mind? Oh, by the way, how's that gorgeous redhead? Huh? Uh, oh, she's okay, I guess. You guess? What's the matter? Aren't you dating her? No. Ah, uh, well, what the heck, kid? There's more where she came from. Maybe the next one won't be so hipped on money in good times. Dutch, that... That idea you had. What idea is that, kid? I get so many About of them. the supermarket. Oh, that one. How can you be sure to be safe? How can we get away with it? Can't miss, kid. How long you been taking the money to the night deposit? Oh, two years, about. Mm. Friday's a big day for the store, ain't it? Yeah. You stay open late. Huh? Uh, when do you hit the night deposit on Fridays? Mm. Ten thirty, a quarter of eleven. Street's pretty deserted. Yeah. How come you ain't never been held up before? I don't know. That's the whole answer in a nutshell. You don't know? Because there ain't any reason. You've just been lucky. Well, what's to say you're going to stay lucky? Any night you could have been mugged, right? Could have been hurt bad, maybe even killed, right? Yeah, I guess. No, guess about it. You've just been lucky. Okay, so next Friday you won't be. It's that simple. You're walking alone, minding your own business. I drive up, jump out, give you a tap on the head so it looks good to the cops, grab the bag of money, and take off like a wounded eagle. Later on... We make the split. Nothing to it. Well, but cops, won't they ask me questions? <laughs> sure, and you answered them. Two guys mugged you. You never even saw them. They're going to call you a liar? How can they prove different? You're a solid citizen, good rep. You said yourself, Harris trusts you. And don't worry about him. He ain't going to lose. He's insured. How we, um, spend the money? We don't. Not for a nice long time. And we do it. Real gradual, so nobody gets suspicious. That's where most guys get fouled up. They can't wait. But we can. Maybe we put it in a couple of banks, let it build up a little interest. Anyways, we can worry about that later. When do you, uh, I mean, we, I mean... I know what you mean. This Friday. That soon? You're going to wait till your redhead finds another guy? This Friday. Now, you just go on like you've been doing. Don't do anything different. You leave the rest to me. I guess that does it for this Friday, Robbie. Yes, sir. You got the checks totaled separate? Yes, sir. Deposit slips made out? Yes, sir. What's your figure? Uh, $7,484. And 39 cents. And 39 cents. Yeah, sounds like chicken feed, maybe, but it builds up, Robbie. Don't you ever forget that. No, sir. Something the matter with you? Huh? Oh, no, 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 Mr. Harris. All afternoon and evening, you've been acting like a man with problems. Something on your mind, Robbie? Oh, I, look, I just got a little headache, that's all. <laughs> well, you better take something for that when you get home. Yes, sir. 
Okay, now here's the bag. Huh? Now, mind you, don't forget the deposit slips. Oh, I won't, Mr. Harris. No, because you did once. You can't be too careful, young fellow. Uh, no, sir. Now, you can go ahead. I'll lock up. And uh, don't spend that money all at once, huh? <laughs> hey, Robbie. I'm not quite as dumb as I look. You're not fooling me. You're worried about that raise I promised you, right? Yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> well, you got no need to be starting next week. There'll be an extra $2 in your pay envelope, okay? Yes, sir. Thanks. You've earned it. You're a good boy, Robbie. You and me, we make a good team. Okay, let's get it over with. Hold it, Dutch. What's the matter? You got the dough? I, I can't. You ain't backing out now. Look, I'm scared, Dutch. I'm scared. I, I'm scared I might say something wrong to the police. Do I have to be left here all alone? Can't we, can't we do it some other way? This is what I get for working with punks. No, we can't do it some other way. Now, give me the dough. Please, Dutch, take me with you. Now, please, I'm scared. Let me go with you. All right, punk, in the car. Thank, thanks, Dutch. We'll work something out. Shut up and let's get going. Dutch, hmm? I, I know you're sore at me. Hey, Dutch, uh, where are we going? We're already out of the city limits. Oh, what do we do now, huh? Um, you thought of something else? <laughs> you got another plan, Dutch? Why are we stopping out here? I'll tell you, punk. Because we got some unfinished business. You mean the money? You get half. You, you don't have to worry. I ain't worried, but half ain't enough. I want it all. But you said... That redhead's expensive, kid. You ought to know that. Sandra? Who else? <laughs> you didn't really think it was you she wanted, did you? See, this is the way it really is, kid. Sandra and me, we set you up for this. We couldn't have taken a chance at that crazy conscience of yours. In 48 hours, you'd have spilled the whole thing to the cops. So you're going to get mugged all the way. You wouldn't have been able to talk to the cops, not ever. I should have figured on you turning chicken. Well, it ain't too late. I won't drive back and dump you by the bank. This is just as good. We're going to have a little accident. Just a little change in plans. Well, let's uh, make it a big change in plans, Dutch old buddy, old kid. Huh? Hey, hey! Surprised to see the gun? You know, I bought it at a pawn shop in your name. After all, you know, you're, you're too big for me to handle alone. I need help. Hold it. That's better. Let's get going, old buddy. Where? Straight ahead. I'll tell you where to turn. Take the next right. What are you going to do? Now, listen, kid. I was just testing, you know, seeing how you'd stand up under pressure. I, I wasn't serious. It's all a gag, you know? Ah, uh, sure I know, Dutch. But I am serious. Turn here. Uh, Want to hear my plan, Dutch? You... You ain't got the guts to kill anybody. <laughs> You're so wrong. You and Sandra set me up. I set you up. And Sandra doesn't worry me. You know, she'll go where the money is. I'm not worried about her. Hey, Dutch, notice this canvas bag? Just like this one with all the beautiful money in it, isn't it? You know what's in the extra bag? Some old tired dollar bills and bank deposit slips. And you know what? They're all burned to a crisp. But the police will still be able to tell what they were. They're very good at that kind of thing. They'll find them when they find you and the car all burned up at the bottom of the cliff. The cliff straight ahead, Dutch. Slow down. Isn't that a wonderful plan, Dutch? You know, I'll be a hero. I tried to fight you and keep you from getting the money, but you were too strong. 
I barely managed to jump out of the car before it went over. Oh, don't worry. I'll have plenty of bruises and cuts. Maybe even a broken ankle to back me up. You can't, Robbie. It ain't, it, it ain't human. But it's foolproof. <clears throat> uh, steering left-handed isn't as easy as I thought. Where's the clip edge? Ah, there it is. Okay, now put her in second. Matches, just in case it don't burn. Now I better open the door. Now, make sure I got the right bag. And... Hey, he's falling on it. I, I, I gotta get it. He's too heavy. I can't move it. But I got to. It's my money. It's mine. <laughs> oh! <laughs> just can't get over it. Poor Robbie. Gee, all we girls are sure going to miss him, Mr. Harris. Nobody will miss him like me. Why, I was even planning to turn the place over to him one day. My. But you know something, Sandra? It wasn't all in vain. Robbie's getting killed along with that thug. How do you mean? Well, it proved how right I was to trust him. Why, he could have saved his own life, maybe, if it hadn't been, if he hadn't been fighting, trying to get back my money. No, Sir Sandra, you just don't find many young fellows like that. He was a hero, Robbie was, and I, for one, won't ever forget him. Me either. Mr. Harris? Hmm? Would you think I was awful forward if I said you remind me a lot of Robbie? <laughs> I do? Oh, yes, sir. Except, of course, you're more mature and... Uh, Kind of stronger. Maybe I shouldn't tell you. But I think a girl ought to tell a man how she feels about him. Don't you, Mr. Harris? Suspense. You've been listening to The Legend of Robbie, written for suspense by Walter Black. In a moment, the names of our players and a word about next week's story of suspense. Are you all out of tune because you're irregular? Then help yourself get back in tune with Kellogg's All Brand. You'll feel right on pitch when Kellogg's All Brand goes gently to work, relieves constipation due to lack of bulk by supplying your system with bulk-forming whole bran. Yes, a daily bowl full of Kellogg's All Brand with milk helps put you right back in tune. The natural way. The good-tasting way, too. Fact is, Kellogg's All Brand is the one brand cereal that combines proved effectiveness with appetizing taste and crispness. It never gets mushy in milk. So remember, if constipation's a problem, gentle it away, as millions do, with Kellogg's All Brand, the good food way to keep regular as clockwork. A double L hyphen B R A N. Kellogg's All Brand at your grocer. <laughs> Heard in tonight's story were Larry Robinson as Robbie, George Matthews as Dutch, Joan Loring as Sandra, and Eric Dressler as Mr. Harris. Listen again next week when we return with Dead Man's Story. By Robert Arthur, another tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. The latest news follows, then have gun will travel on CBS Radio.